Hello everybody, how's it going? Broxmar here. Today we're going to check out the uh, Case of the Golden Idol demo that's currently on Steam. Uh, it's called Complications in the Family. And uh, I think we should just get into it and see what this is all about. Going blind, not really any idea. How do you want to play? The recommended experience with highlights. Select this if you don't want to be pixel. I will go with the plan of prologue and a Abrupt termination of contract. Press anywhere to continue. Okay. All right. So we got a guy pushing another guy. Looks like we have a book that clicks. Okay. This is glowing. Let's see what's in here. Tobacco pouch. Two bags with gems. Medical instruments. That must be the golden statue. All right. We have somebody who uses a pipe, so they would. The bag with tobacco must be theirs. Okay, these. So we have two names. Both parties agree to these terms for the expedition to Monkey Paw Island. Albert Cloudsley has rights to two-thirds of all valuables for funding the expedition. Oberon Geller has rights to one-third of all valuables and any golden statues found for providing the map to the expedition site. So he is the pipe smoker. He must be the guy with medical tools. Oh yeah, right there. Dr. Oberon Geller. Okay. Uh, what else we got? It says four. So there's we found four of the clues, I guess. All right. That is a dagger. So let's click on the person who's falling, who must be Oberon Geller. Oh. Okay, what's this? A clue has been added to the thinking panel. Oh, where is this, I guess? Okay, so the guy falling is... Is this what we do? Because that seems to be color-coded, so... All right. Okay. There's the Bay of Shadows, Horn Finger, Thumb. All right, so that just went green, and you can't see that because it's behind my head. Hmm. Edits on the fly. There we go. Try that. Okay, so there's an 11 of 11 over there. It's green. So I guess we go back to the thinking. So Albert Cloudsley. Camp in what of what? I want to say Bay of Shadows. Two or less slots are incorrect. So Bay is correct. No. So it must be Horn. Thumb. Okay. The scroll has been fulfilled. While Dr. Oberon Geller was surveying the poor weather with his looking glasses, expedition partner Albert Cloudsley Esquire suddenly pushed him off the cliff. All right. So that was chapter one done. What's this? This is glowing. Okay. I guess we go to chapter two. One, complications in the family. An untimely passing of a rural gentleman. All right. So we have a single room. That appears to be a dead body. 
A ring with a ruby. A man has not breathing. His head is badly wounded. What are we trying to find here? Okay. We have ourselves a golden statue. This clue has been added to the thinking panel. It looks like science equipment. Sebastian Cloudsley. To share my home and will competition science. Oh, it's in a diary. Wake up, beautiful day, washed and dressed in my dining attire. Changed into my hunting attire. Rode to hunt badgers, had no luck, returned home. Changed to my researching attire. He's not in the researching attire right now. And we've already clicked on dining. A tasty beef loin for supper. So he's never got in his researching, so I guess that means he's in his hunting attire? What's this? It's the week of August 22nd. A ladder. Woodshire, Crow Tower, Blackfield. There's water, so it must be... There's a horse. A yacht is floating. What's this book? So that's all 16. So we know this is... Sebastian Cloudsley. Oh, that's his dining attire. All right. That's his researching attire. So that must be his hunting attire. Cool. I want to say Blackfield. Cause of death was a head wound which occurred from when he fell from horse? Well, he was hunting. Okay. All right. While the Lord of Blackfield was hunting, his horse threw him off and he suffered a deadly wound to the head. Okay. What's this? We have a bell. Folks. They're burying Sebastian Cloudsley. Okay. So we go from chapter 2 to chapter 4. What? Where's chapter 3? A murder at the Little Mermaid. I have a feeling this is becoming a lot more complicated. But let's see. Wow. Why is there an arrow here? It's got two floors. And we have a murder scene here. Alright, let's work left to right. We have a broken window. Why did that beggar give me a note when he knows damn well I can't read? You can lie down for a couple of days in the old oarsman's place down at the docks. Okay, so there's a dock. Rusty half of shears. All right. An empty, not warm bed. So that's not been slept in. That is a blue flower. The door does not open. So there's a trap door in the ceiling.
That's a dandelion. Revenge written in blood. Door does not open. There's a key on that side. Who is this? They have the same ring with a ruby as the last one. Okay, a cane. This man is not breathing. Looks like he's been stabbed multiple times. Dear proud Beastmaster, I have attended our departed brother's send-off and accepted a keepsake that it was bestowed upon his brotherhood in his will. She'll send this letter tomorrow, September 10th, so it's September 9th right now. I hope it will reach you without delay. Already it is midnight. I will retire to bed, for this has been a long day. All right. Nothing else to click there, and then we have ourselves a broken window. Shards of glass. <laughs> Watchman number two, Henry Parker. He's got a giant spear. Can I move these around? Oh, I can. All right. So I think we got to go downstairs now. All right, what do we got going on here? This is creepy. That's supposed to be a mermaid. I don't, I don't know about that. Door to the street is shut with a latch. I have found six of twenty-six. Okay. Tell me, what does that man have that I lack? Oh, you are creepy looking. Small sword. Okay, what's next? Text from your wife. We will address that. A handful of cards. A key. But those doors do not open. Seven pence. That man does not have a lot of money. Be calm, John. He was a perfect gentleman. He bought me a drink and then retired upstairs. So one of them is John. Don't know which of the two. Hand of cards. Key. She has a stiletto. She is Annie. She's the only female here. To Annie, you're beautiful like a rose for a... You, I will take any blows, Annie. You're like a glass of wine. Your piglet full of love. All right, that's... Uh, who is this gentleman? He's got himself a dagger. There's a key. Never be late. The client leaves the port on the 10th. Be persuasive. Do not take no for an answer. Be effective once you have the product. Deliver it to me immediately with the servant boy. Most importantly, no matter what you do, be mindful of your reputation. Our names must remain spotless. I do not know what that means. What are we, what are we playing? What's on the table? A clue has been added to the thinking panel. Three glasses. Annie. Oh, so these were the games. AG is Annie. JB would be John. So that must be AB right there. What's this? Now performing at the um, Evans Musical Performance. Come September 9th around 11. Well, let's go back over here for a second. Maybe M.E. is Evans.
Henry's the watcher, right? Henry Parker, HP. Okay, let's go back down. What do we got here? Robert Redrith. He does not look like a good dude. Green would be Annie. Who had the fuller glass of wine, do you think? Based on how much money he had, it would be... I want to say... That's John. And then, so Blair is the last one. Right? I want to say John... Bree Edge, and then A Blair. Okay. Where did that blasted boy go? I really need to take a piss. Oh, Oscar Boynton. So we're at 20 of 26. It's come to our attention that a good owner of the Little Mermaid offers services to those who want to transfer products that are less than agreeable to the authorities. Well, it's come... Three days. S spare me some barrels. Okay, that's a lemon. We have a giant knife. And a bunch of keys. My old mother, forgive me, I will never gamble with something so dear with... It's a violin. Ooh, he looks like he could get stabby with that thing. Everyone's got a key. Let's see what's in the book, I guess. Willard Wright. Ash Blair. There we go. So we're just missing the Evans name, I guess. Let's head back up here and see what we can find. Ah, this is what's something. My dear Maurice. Okay, now we have everything. Maurice Evans, I take it. That looks like it housed the Golden Idol. That's what I would think. Alright, let's see if we can line up everybody's names. That would be the wanted man. This is Oscar Boynton. Oh wait, Willard Wright was... Robert, this is Robert Red. Henry Parker. Do I have that right? No, wait, Evans. Ah, what did I screw up here? Dandelion Room is Willard Wright. There we go. That's what I did wrong. Awesome. Okay, we got that done. So it was during one of these games... Got to fill in these empty slots, I guess. OK. 
Okay, those are the Andy Greens. Willard Wright played the first game with Evans before Evans started his concert. JB, so I want to say it was Ash. Oscar played a game. Okay, that's all filled in correctly. Um, so how do you get into the room? So that's that. While who played cards? Was it during the second? It must have been during the second game. So do we think it's Ash Blair? Because I think these two are just... He had the dagger. Yes. There we go. The scroll has been fulfilled. A man going by the name of Ash Blair crept into Willard's room through the trapdoor to steal something important. But when he opened the music box, it woke Willard up and a fight ensued. In the fracas, Ash stabbed Willard and attempted to frame an escaped convict. All right. Now we get number three with the spontaneous combustion. All right. It's a little out of order. Let's see it. Chapter one, complication, the dramatic departure of an outsider. Well, that is a person on fire. A scorched horse brush, a scorched dagger. What the blazes? So we're at the horse club. Twenty-sixth spontaneous combustion. Idle. Okay. Something on the back. There's the ruby ring. There's a lot of. Ash Blair. Finest tobacco. Carriage for tomorrow. We visit my nephew EC. Don't know who EC is. Okay, those are the symbols. I'm gonna sign here. Stable Rhoda for Adam and James. Who's this? Unexpected turn of broidered handkerchief. Edmund, it must have reached my attention that you are seeking capable new servant. I have just the man for you, David Gorin. Okay, I'm gonna start my list of names. We have Adam, we have James, Edmund. There's Theo, but we can't click on that. Uh, okay, Edmund is a Cloudsley. Lord Edmund Cloudsley's speech to Parliament. Nothing else I can click on there. We have ourselves a stiletto. Can I open this? No.
So that's either James or someone. Spare me the devil, I was simply following orders. Property of the... So that must be Adam and James' pair. Who is... Oh, EC must be Edmund Cloudsley. So, what am I missing? Can we go out somewhere? Oh, there we go, inside here. Oh, that makes a lot more sense. Eat Lord Pair Twins at A and J. Okay, good. Oh, I guess we don't know which one's working right now. So we'll leave that. So we got the name Batley Hubert. My apologies, he can be such a bad ear sometimes. Six rings and various stones, four pounds, a fan. Okay. Got ourselves a card here. Nicholas Maker. That would be Nicholas Maker right there, wouldn't it? That's what I think. I think this guy right here is Nicholas Maker. Where your family is such a legal document in such a way. All right. We got Rose Cuthbert. We know Sebastian's dead. Beatrix Bear. Me. Willard Wright is dead. Okay, we're making better time. What's this? Sebastian Cloudsley, a collection. How to be happy, upset, inspired, scared. It's a bunch of random words. We'll take it. I guess I should probably read. How to be happy, eat a hearty meal every day. How to avoid being upset, strive to be... Which Strive for that which holds meaning. Do not shrink from responsibility. How to be inspired. Take a walk in your forest. Feeling scared is a weakness. Be strong instead. Wow, we got a bunch of stuff on the ground here. That's a really steep wager. Dear Peter Batley, we had sent frequent reminders concerning the settlement of your debt, and yet to, to date, the debt remains unpaid. Stands... 255 pounds. Okay. If you want to put a sharp mind to better use than mere politics, I bequeath you to you the notes of my research. Dear Willard Wright, Rose Cuthbert. The map of Xenopolis, okay. The ruins, or the map of the ruins. Okay. After you left the colonies, I've bequeathed you my savings land. So are we trying to figure out who gets what? I, Sebastian Clausley of the Blackfield County, nominate Nicholas Maker as my, okay. So let's, we have everything now. That's Willard Wright, okay.
Let's see if we get this right. Because we know that's a pair, and he's dying from spontaneous combustion. Who is this again? That's Rose Cuthbert, isn't it? She's the only female here. I'm just going to put David Gore in here. We'll see if this is... We'll, if it doesn't work, we'll switch it around. Hey, we got it right. So Sebastian is Sebastian Cloudsley. So this would be to Edmund, not just for politics. My dear late sister, that would be Rose. This is Willard. Okay, these are not correct. So we rarely... What the blazes? So he was probably thinking... Oh, I wonder if he gave that to Nicholas. Okay, these are not filled out correctly. It's got to be Edmund is here. We met so rarely after he left for the colonies. Did he David give it to David Gorin? No. Museum of my life and accomplishments. Yeah, I want to say that is Nicholas. Okay, what am I missing? So these are the four people that got things. Which is why I'm thinking... Okay, so Peter gets the golden idol. And Willard should get this. But that's not right. How is that wrong? What am I missing? Oh, my dear late sister. That's what I'm missing.
There we go. Oh, I read that. Peter was married to the sister. That's what I missed. Sorry about that. Probably you all figured that out. If you figured it out, put it in the comments and let me know how I screwed that one up. I appreciate that. All right. Was to receive... Let's fill this in. What am I trying to fill in? Blank was blank to receive blank in Sebastian Cowdley's will and ordered who did ordered what to So, we're taking the idol from Willard Wright. Was upset to receive aphorisms in Sebastian's will and ordered... There we go. Got it. The scroll has been fulfilled. Peter Blightly, encumbered by his gambling debts, had placed high hopes on his uncle's testament. Upon discovering he had inherited nothing but a book of aphorisms, he tore up the will and ordered his servants to take the golden statue from the stranger Willard. Suddenly, one of the servants burst into flames. Poor James. This demo is over. But wait, there's something more? You can wish list. Thank you for solving the first mysteries of the case of the Golden Idol. There is, however, one more we implore you to cipher. Ooh, ooh, I think I get... We've enjoyed the demo and the curious... Well, we have amazing news. The case of the Golden Idol will be October... I want to say October 13th. Release date. We get it right. October 13th. So a couple weeks. We will see, less than a couple weeks, we will see the case of the Golden Idol. I like this game. I like this game a lot. Thanks everybody for stopping by, watching this far. If you like what you see, click that subscribe button. Brock some more on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, TikTok, YouTube here on YouTube. All those fun places. <laughs> and uh, again, thanks for stopping by, checking out the video. Hope you liked the game. And uh, I will see you around the internet. Cheers, everybody.